we have a new technique that we're offering here that we would like you to understand that you must apply in every moment of every waking day and that is we call it the forking off process in other words here I stand wherever I am forking off to close the crack how's that here I stand wherever I am on any subject in the world and I'm having a moment where I'm offering thoughts and having emotional responses to the thoughts that I'm offering as you stand here having your moment and you care about how you feel then your tendency is going to be to reach for the best feeling thought that you can find and so as you reach for a little better feeling thought you can't go all the way to feeling great but as you reach for a better feeling thought and you consistently do that before you know it you're at that manifestation point and it pleases you as it manifests but if you are complaining and worrying and fussing and fuming and angry and frustrated and overwhelmed and worried and more then when you get to the manifestation it will not please you because nothing bucks your current everything reflects the vibrational frequency of your being when you're standing in the midst of a manifestation that does not please you and you don't take the time to try to make the best of it from where you are all you do is cue yourself up for a later manifestation that's not going to please you either where if you are cognizant of where you stand and how you feel and you make even the slightest effort to find the wouldn't it be nice if or step back into a broader view and acknowledge that my life always works well or well what's our next plan what will we do recognize that in every moment wherever you're standing you've got options and the options are very few the options in fact are only two I can approach this in a way that feels a little better or I can approach this in a way that feels a little worse and we want you to understand that believe it or not that simple forking in your now is everything that science of deliberate creation is about you can't create far off into your future and you can't create very far from where you're already vibrating you can't quantum leap on the emotional scale you can't be feeling despair and leap all the way into bliss no matter how many people tell you that you should follow your bliss you cannot move quickly up the emotional scale on subjects that you've been practicing any more than you can set your radio dial on 6:30 a.m. and hear what's being broadcast on 98.7 FM the frequencies have to match up you see so what we're going to talk about here today is mostly about helping you to make peace with where you are in other words nothing very important is ever going on anywhere if you will just stand and regroup and then think which corner do I really want to list or fork in the direction of if the better feeling option feels better then you've released the resistance so what has happened is this life experience has shown to you evidence of resistance that you've been lugging around that you were unaware you had until it manifested now we want you to get more and more aware of the way you feel so that you are aware of things resistance wise before they manifest because once you've got the diagnosis or once you've got the bankruptcy or once you're living what you don't want to live now you've missed quite a few cues you see and so it is better if you catch it before it manifests but no big deal at any point that you realize whether it's because you feel the emotion that's telling you that you're not moving in the direction you want or whether it's because something is manifested and you really know that you're right where you don't want to be in either case your work is the same your work must be to stand where you are because you've got no choice you can't stand anywhere that you're not you're standing in this vibrational place in vibrational proximity to all of the things that your source has become because of you and you have an option of trying to make it feel a little better or trying to make it feel a little worse and as you consistently try to make it feel a little better what happens in a very short period of time 
is that you clean up your vibration relative to so many things because life is pointing your resistance out to you every day in oh so many ways and as you make the effort to improve the way you feel just a little bit you change your vibrational attitude you change your vibrational emitting and law of attraction is responding to the vibration that you're emitting you are vibrational beings the universe isn't responding to your words the universe is responding to your vibration the universe is literally responding to the vibration that is the reason for the way you feel so your vibration is the reason for the way you feel I want to talk about this just for a moment because once you get this you're home free forevermore relative to anything and everything you want your emotions are your indicator of your vibration but what do we mean by that your emotions are your indicator of the vibrational relativity between who you have really become and who you are letting yourself be in this moment isn't that wonderful to know in other words your emotions are telling you vibrationally where you are in relationship to everything that you want so never again will you ever feel impatience about unknown factors because never again will there be any unknown factors if you are worried about something it can't get better if you're frustrated about something it might be improving slightly but so slowly that you're probably pulling your hair out in other words you've got to close that vibrational gap and you're the only one who can do it friends if you believe that what is controls the way you feel then you're done if what is controls the way you feel then you have no possibility ever of changing your vibration which means you look at what is you vibrate about what is the universe gives you more of what is and then you look at the more that you're getting and then you offer a vibration about it and then the universe gives you more of it if you want something to change in your experience you have to change the way you feel you have to change the way you're looking at it if what it is is to change so we like to talk about the emotional journey we want you to become vibrationally aware we want you to care more about how you feel than about what is we want you to start controlling how you feel about what is because when you start controlling how you feel about what is what is starts becoming more of what you want you can tell by the way you feel whether you're marching 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 towards something that you're gonna like when you get there or whether you're marching 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 towards something that you're not gonna like when you get there so doesn't that make you feel powerful to know that as you're standing right now you have options about which way you fork so here's how it works you've been banging around you're out here you haven't really known about this stuff things happen things you want things you don't want you've offered all kinds of vibrations and your vibrational future is full of all kinds of things that you want and that you don't want because every thought that you've been thinking has caused you to launch rockets of desires so let's say that you went to the mailbox and you got a big bill and your awareness of your current checking account balance tells you that you cannot pay this bill you can't even come close to paying this bill and you think oh my god what have I done and so as you're standing there in this discomfort over where you stand what we want you to be aware of is that what you do next has everything to do with whether you will open the flow of money and make it better or whether you will continue to shut down the flow of money as you make a decision that you care how you feel and that you care more about how you feel about not having enough money than you do about not having enough money in other words my attitude about this is what really matters not my current state of abundance because my current state of abundance or health or relationship will change as my vibration changes so my emotional response to this is everything so you sit down and you open the bills and you face the reality that you're living and you feel overwhelmed with your current situation so there you are there you are your desire for abundance is over here and your current vibration relative to money is over here so now the forking process begins so you say to yourself I am in such trouble I don't know what I'm gonna do as you move in the opposite direction of what you're wanting and then you say things just cost so much as you continue to move in the wrong direction or something like that we're just giving you hypotheticals of what you might say then you say it's just not fair and then you say 
they're not paying me nearly what I'm worth <laughs> and about then you remember Abraham demonstrating to you you're forking off in the wrong direction and even though in the last minute you forked several times in the direction of what you do not want you're aware that you're doing it and it just sort of is happening to you because law of attraction can't give you thoughts that are very far from the thoughts you're thinking and how you feel but now you decide to sort of take control of your forking process so you stop somewhere and you make an effort to move in the other direction and you say something like well maybe things will get better and then you think yeah right <laughs> and then you think well things have gotten tight from time to time and I usually figure a way out of it and then you think yeah but look at where I am now as you fork back and then you say because you're still making an effort finances are about dollars out and dollars in and while I can't do anything necessarily this red hot minute about making more money come in I can be a little bit more deliberate about what goes out and that feels a little better and then you think but I've been here so often as you fork back but now you get the sense of what we're talking about now you're doing some deliberate forking in other words now even though you've made several forks in the direction that you don't want to go and some in the direction that you do want to go now you're more nimble now you're aware now you're making an effort now law of attraction isn't just carrying you away with your negative thoughts because you've deliberately activated some more positive thoughts so now more options are opening up for you it's like the roadway begins to clear a little bit and then you say something like I'm gonna look through this pile and I'm gonna decide what's most urgent and I'm gonna pay them as best I can and I'm gonna make some phone calls and with that decision you feel a little better and then you say I'll do it later and you walk away from it and you have through this small effort left yourself in a better vibrational position than when you were at the mailbox earlier you've changed your vibration and the thing that we want you to know that we don't think you know that we know that we want so much for you to know because when you know this your life will be transformed you know <laughs> we want you to understand that that small effort has changed your vibrational point of attraction and now you have access to different forking points now you have access to different rendezvous now with just that little bit of effort different vibrational mind patterns are going to start to break loose for you and your timing with things is going to be better and your awareness of where you are financially is going to be more keen and all kinds of things are going to improve soon but the important thing the most important thing is you have improved the way you feel now you're no longer in cold sweats your mouth is no longer dry in fact there's a decisiveness that started to come over you and you're on your way you're well along your way that first effort is always the hardest one you see when you look at powerful people charismatic people people that you call masters of whatever it is they are masters of it is because they want something that they believe they can do when you are a vibrational match to your own desire and you are sending one signal you are literally invincible nothing can keep it from happening and you hear of those people who are so stubborn you might call them or determined in other words they hold themselves in vibrational alignment with what they want they don't allow themselves to split their own energy everything that you are living has only to do with whether your energy is aligned or whether your energy is split because when your energy is split you water down your power when you say I want this but you're offering two signals that are in contradiction to each other and the universe cannot respond to your clear signal because you're not offering a clear signal but when you fork your way up the emotional scale and you come into vibrational alignment with what you want so you are sending one signal then it must be it is law it has to be heaven and earth 
embarrassed part, amazing things happen. People who don't understand this, who don't understand about forking, who don't understand about closing the gap, who don't understand about vibration, stand back in amazement and complain at your good fortune when they don't have the same good fortune. Everyone is entitled to this same good fortune, but you've got to work your own magic. You've got to work yourself up that emotional scale. You cannot continue to fork off in the direction of what you don't want and then be surprised when what you don't want manifests. Good.